so I decided to do a video of my 2018 according to Google Maps. And I didn't know about this feature until just recently. And I just got this email the other day and it is a list of all of the places that I went to and traveled in 2018. So I didn't know that Google would do this and part of it feels like a huge kind of like scary thing with the location and the other part of me is like this is actually really cool and a really interesting way to help me like see what I did in the year 2018. So first off I visited according to my phone I visited 124 places, 35 cities, and I stayed within America, which, yeah, that's probably about accurate. <clears throat> With that being said, I traveled 17,430 miles, 69% around the world. So what I actually think is interesting about that is at one point I did the math of a lot of the travel I've gone in my life, and I've traveled enough mm -hmm. to have gone... But this is just of the trips I could keep track of and I was actually able, the math I figured out was that I've traveled at least enough to have gone around the world three times. So this is actually really interesting and I actually really like being able to see because I made it 70% around the world just this year between all of the travel I did. So I spent, according to my phone, which I don't know where they're getting this information, if it's from how long I used Google Maps or what, but I spent 33 hours walking and 737 hours driving or commuting, with 15,000 of those being that time. The furthest away is when I went to Pennsylvania this summer, which wasn't surprising to me, and it's actually kind of cool that it'll show you the little things, and I'm sure if I had uploaded Google Photos to my actual that it would be showing you like photos from my actual trip instead of just like these generic photos and apparently my longest trip was in portland and rosberg so that was in oregon and that wasn't really surprising information to me either as i've talked about i've been a nanny and so the my cousins the wife of the family um, her parents lived in Oregon, and so we traveled up there several times over the year. And so that meant that I spent a lot of time there. So that wasn't surprising. Um, this is what makes me laugh really hard. I apparently took 47 trips to Smith's, which I once again don't know which Smith's it's counting or what, but it's kind of really am amusing. I also took 33 visits to Winco and 20 visits to the Magic Valley Mall. Once again, and this is the next part of food and drinks makes me laugh as well. Apparently it documented at least seven trips to McDonald's, two to In-N-Out and two to Chick-fil-A. <laughs> Uh, it's kind of sad that I went to McDonald's the most, and but also I know that I ate at In-N-Out and like Chick-fil-A more than twice last year, but whatever. <clears throat> So this is another thing that it was cool to look at because Thompson Park was where I was uh, helping with the free lunch program. So that's why I had so many visits and that isn't even close to the actual amount of times that I went there. Shoshone Falls Park is also near my home and I was able to take my family there and visit there a couple of times and get some really cool photos. And for a little while, we had some fa we had a friend living in the Oregon Trails campground, which is why I also was visiting that consistently. So that is my 2018, according to Google Maps, um, that I had my location on for 344 days. So I should maybe watch that because I'm a little freaked out. I mean, it's nice to know, but it's also terrifying that Google has this in information on me. So, there's that. I also wanted to say thank you guys so much for 100 views within the last 30 days on my YouTube channel, as well as, as well as hitting over 200 within the last year, which is kind of crazy when I start thinking about it. Like, just really grateful and I'm having a lot of fun with this. And maybe one day I'll get more into this and why I started filming videos. But for now, I can't believe that I've hit 200. Wow. 
and 9 subscribers. Anyways, thanks so much for reviewing my 2018 according to Google with me.